So this is a tutorial on how to convert a Photoshop file into um, the simple HTML document. So you have a single web page um, using slice tool for Photoshop. So let's get started. So let's say this is the um, um, one HTML page layout, one web page uh, kind of prototype done by Photoshop. And then you're going to slice this page into multiple slices uh, from Photoshop and you'll export as a HTML document. So here we go. So first, um, in your toolbox, just choose a slice tool. Maybe you may see the, the crop tool first. So um, like other Photoshop tools, um, once you Hold down your mouse button, you're going to see the more tools and choose the slice tool. And then the first thing is I'm going to slice this banner area first. So, banner. Uh, we're not going to change uh, many stuff. We're going to change this banner image and then we're going to um, make this button as a rollover button with a different color. And then uh, one more thing is we're going to make this section as an editable text area. So okay, so that's that's the plan. So let me slice it with the slice tool. Now you can see that kind of golden uh, border. That means that's the um, um we call that custom slice. And this blue thing is the uh, kind of a for a user slice, or this is kind of just a slice done by Photoshop. And let me zoom in a little bit. Um, just to work uh, quicker, I would use the, um, uh, the shortcut keycap command, spacebar command key. You can zoom in, or just by holding down the spacebar, you can move it around. So, this is a kind of big time saver. Okay, so um, first, okay, I would crop it more precisely. Good. This top. It's okay. Okay. Then now I'm going to slice uh, these five buttons one, two, three, four, five. So first the thing is just to select all of them, all five, or let me just slice. Entire bar, menu bar, and then by holding down the control key, clicking on this area, click here, and then divide the slice. Since there are five uh, buttons, I'm going to divide into um, uh, five different slices. And then change the tool to a slice a select tool. I'm going to change the border a little bit so it fits from about hopefully there. services. And contacts. Cool. Okay. And then for the custom slice and user slices, uh, please assign the name. So I'm holding down the control key, uh, edit slice options, name it as uh, home. 
second one, hold down the control, edit slice options, and about. And the portfolio, control, slice options, portfolio, portfolio. And the services, control, options, services and the contact and then on this area it's going to be banner banner okay. for this center area uh, under uh, the banner, use the other slice tool again. We're going to slice this entire thing first. Somewhere around here. Okay. Uh, control, divide into three. Because there are three sections. Oh, it looks okay. Uh, I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, let me change the name. So um, if we uh, need to change the content, so we can just replace the images after. So um, this first one, slice options. Um, I would name it. Session one and the second one session number two and the last session number three. Back to slice two. Uh, I'm going to slice this one, this kind of shadow thing, as it is. And I'm not going to rename it. It's okay. So um, the next thing is, um, I'm not going to change anything, but it's who we are this session. And then we're going to replace uh, this text block into editable text block. So uh, if we just slice it as we did, uh, as we have done so far, it will be saved as a, just the, uh, the Photoshop or the JPEG file or just the image file. But uh, maybe we may want to change the, uh, some kind of descriptions later. Then what we can do is, first let me unlock my layer and then I'm going to make get rid of this entire text block I'm going to fill it in white so edit menu fill content in white and fill so I'm going to leave it just like that for now. Next thing is use the slice tool again. So there are two sections of who we are and our team. So um, let me just be on slice just a tighter sec part, uh, portion for each section like who we are and our team and then hold on the control key again divide into this time two slices so who we are in our team and our team and who we are here uh, first thing is I'm going to select the kind of a, a one 
area where we're going to have editable text block like this. Okay. Then we're going to define this blank area as editable text area by holding down the control key open the options, edit slice options then we've been just to change the name so far what we're going to do is we're going to change the slice type from the image to no image okay. and we're going to have a text so we can type text here or we can just leave it uh, I'm going to just leave it as it is for now, as a kind of blank uh, text block and then we're going to be able to uh, add some more text in Dreamweaver. So we say OK. okay. And then Twitter, LinkedIn, and then Facebook, SNS thing. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this three section. SNS logos. Okay. And then do the same thing. Hold on the control. Add this, you know, divide slices into three because there are three icons. Okay. And then I'm going to just gonna rename it uh, by changing the tool to slice select tool and control click. Slice options, T, Twitter, the second one, option, LinkedIn, and then the last one, FB, Facebook. Okay. And then uh, I'm not going to change anything for now. I'm just going to leave it as it is. But um, if we want to make certain area, certain text block area, like a 24 7, this text block, this text block, or that one, uh, any text block we want to edit it. And then we can uh, erase it like we did in here. And then uh, we're going to. Uh, defined as a, a text block area, as an editable text block area, like we did. Okay, so I think uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, okay, so once you have your slices like this, go to File, Export, Save for Web. Click, and then. I'm going to save everything let me zoom out a little bit okay. and with the slice selection to select everything so um, let me just save as a JPEG medium for now JPEG medium is okay for now okay. save it this time we're going to Save as HTML and images. This is important. So on my desktop, I'm going to make um, a new folder. Uh, this is kind of a website for uh, the consulting group. So um, I will name the folder consult. And create it as an index.html because that's the name of this file. Save it. Okay. Now back to Finder. Let me find my folder, which is I made, uh, which I made uh, before now on my desktop. Consult, consult, and now you can see that index.html and then images folder.
though. This is what we did in class. Custom slices, user slices I rename about banner, contact, FB things. And then uh, other slices saved as the uh, index 1, 2, 3, 4 by numbers. So let me try to open this and see what it looks like. There's no text, so we will, we will uh, make some changes there. Okay, so now you can see that there are multiple slices. Okay, so there are a few things we're going to make some changes. First, uh, we're going to replace this banner images with something else, and we're going to make these five buttons into uh, rollover buttons. So we can roll over and then we see the, uh, we can change the color of it. And then also, the last thing is, we're going to have uh, the custom text in this field, who we are. Oh, and the last one, we're going to make a link to Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook pages. In order to do this, all of these things, we will need to open this file from Dreamweaver. So, open this now hold down the control key select index.html and then open with now dreamweaver okay, dreamweaver okay, the design mode okay so this is what we have okay but it is not ready yet because we haven't uh, defined the site yet. So we have to make a proper pathway from Dreamweaver to our root folder, which is a consult in this case. So go to site menu, manage site. I'm sorry. New site. Let me do it again. Go to site, new site. Site name, uh, I will name it as a consulting group. group. And my local site folder, which means my root folder on my desktop, that was consult. There's too many things on my uh, desktop. Choose it. Before we save it, one more thing, check the advanced settings and we just need to make another pathway to images folder where we have all images we are using. So we're going to browse images, the first one, choose it. And now we can save it. So this is now on my files tab with this um, panel, shows me um, where my root folder is, my site name consulting group here, and then the images I have. Everything's here now. Okay. Let me save this file first. Again, save as index.html under my consult root folder. So let me just replace it. And now we can view it in any web browser. So it looks fine. So now let's change the banner images first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my banner.jpg from my root banner. Yes. And then I'm going to replace this image with like this one. So uh, let me just select all, copy, and paste into here. Looks good. I'm not going to change anything. Okay. And then now we're going to save this as banner.jpg, which is the same name, meaning it will replace my old banner in my root folder. Go to File, Save for Web or command option shift s as a jpeg medium is okay 
and going to save it to the same folder, images folder. This time, images only now, as a banner that you can. Save it, replace it. Now, we'll see that in Dreamweaver. Again, let me save it, file, save as, index.html. Now we can preview it on the web browser. So now we have a new image. Next, I'm going to change all these five buttons as a row of a button. So, same thing. I'm going to open all buttons first. About um, contact home portfolio services. Okay, there's one more. There's one more. Oh, I'm confusing. Oh, I have a five already. Okay. So, open all of these files in Photoshop just to make it everything's kind of a quicker. I'm going to just invert it like we did in class. Command I. Okay. And now Command Option Shift S. This is about. So about two. So this is going to be rollover image. Now contact. Same thing. Command I. Invert it. And save for web. As contact number two. And home. Invert it. Save for web. Save it as a home number two. Home number two. Save it. The last, not the last. Portfolio. Command Option Shift S. No, not yet. Invert it first. Command I. And save for web. Command Option Shift S. Save it as portfolio number two that jpg and the last invert it and save for web save it as a services number two that jpeg okay now back to dreamweaver And before uh, we make this five button as a row of a button, we're going to assign kind of ID, kind of a name of each button. So select your home button first from your properties panel, assign the ID, kind of name of this. Um, I will just name it as just home. That's easy. And hit the return. And now about name is going to be about and the third one id name portfolio and the services services and contact and Home about port portfolio services and contact. Okay, now it's ready to go. Now select the home button first. Then we're going to the plan is well, when I move my mouse cursor of my home button, it will be replaced by home number two, which is the under white background and the black text on it. To do that. Under Windows menu, open behaviors. You can see that the plus button. So we can add new behavior. Click on it. Swap image. 
then, now home. This is home. And then we're going to browse the second button, like a rollover image of my home button. So I'm browsing home number two. Okay. And it, see we are the asterisk, meaning now this image has a link to a rollover image. Okay. Now about same thing. Uh, swap image under behaviors panel and about I'm browsing about number two. Okay. And okay. Next portfolio. Behavior. Swap image. Portfolio number two this time. Okay. Now services. Add new behavior. Swap image. Browsing. Services number two. And contact. The last one. Uh, swap image. Contact browsing. Contact number two. Okay. And okay. Okay, now we can now see uh, how it works. So I'll go to file, save it again to update all changes we made. And open from Google Chrome. I have a banner. And when I move my mouse cursor over each button, it is supposed to change the color, like an inverted color. So home, about, portfolio, services, contact. Okay, so it works. Last thing is, we left this who we are section as a blank, and then um, um, we're supposed to be able to edit the text in here. So, back to Dreamweaver, select this, and you can see that kind of a blank area in here. Then now you can type it. Or maybe easier way is uh, let me go to um, let me Google Lauren Epson the funny texts. And let me just copy this first section only, first paragraph, Lauren Epps, and then I'm blah, blah, blah. Copy, and back to Dreamweaver, and paste it. So we have a text. Okay. And file, save it. And on the web browser, we'll see how it works. My button works fine. My brand new banner images works fine. And then on the bottom, I have a text now. So same way, uh, you can change your text on each session, our team, or the uh, portfolio 24-7 or best quality for any session. Uh, one last thing is uh, we haven't made a link from the HSNS button. So let me go back to um, Dreamweaver, Twitter. The best way is open Twitter. Twitter.com I don't use a Twitter. <laughs> okay. Hungry box. What is this? 
So copy the URL. Copy and back to Dreamweaver. Twitter. Once you choose your image button, now the properties panel, we can see that yeah, the, uh, the information about this source, and we're gonna just make a link to Twitter. And we're targeting blank, meaning the new Twitter page will be open in a new tab. So um, people don't have to click on the uh, back, 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 back button on the browser. We do the same thing for the LinkedIn. Follow my web browser. I want to link in. Um, I guess. Okay. Copy the URL and then back to Dreamweaver. My uh, LinkedIn things. Link to their website in a new tab. Now Facebook. We're gonna make a link to this page. So select the URL, copy, and back to Dreamweaver. Okay, in the properties panel, let me link to Facebook page in new tab blank. Okay, so now we'll see it. Select all command S and preview it. So what do we from? So this is my new site, uh, new page. Home about rule over but uh, buttons. On top, we change this, this, and now let me click the Twitter. It opens Twitter in a new tab. LinkedIn, LinkedIn, and Facebook, Facebook. Okay. So this is kind of a one way of making a new site from uh, Photoshop or Illustrator prototype uh, into one HTML document.